I'm Stu Miniman with theCUBE, and we're here at the Winslow Technology Group, Dell EMC User Group, and happy to have another user here at the event, Wayne Dunn, who's the SVP and CTO of Harbor One Bank. Wayne, thanks so much for joining me. Uh, happy to be here. All right, Wayne, tell us a little bit about Harbor One Bank, your role there, how long you've been there, what, what, what you work on. Sure, Harbor One Bank is the um, largest state chartered cooperative bank in New England. I've been there about 10 years and in my role as Senior Vice President and Chief Technology Officer, I'm responsible for all of the on-premise technology as well as managing our hosted solutions that provide uh, services to our customers. Yeah, I, I think back, uh, I'm not a native New Englander, but when I moved up here, um, all the banks I belong to eventually got merged into like mega banks and uh, things like that. So we uh, actually talk about started, We actually yeah. started as a uh, credit union. Yeah. Um, back, uh, we're almost 100 years old actually, we started as Brockton Credit Union and became Harbor One Credit Union and then back uh, uh, three years ago we became a, uh, a bank. Okay. And now we're actually publicly traded on the NASDAQ, that happened a couple of years ago. Well congratulations, that, that, that's excellent. So, uh, financial industry under compliance uh, issues, Tremendous. security, uh, you know, is a, is a major concern. Uh, you've been there 10 years, it, it, give us a little look back, you know, what what do you think about what you do today versus, you know, even, you know, five years ago? Sure, I mean, when I, going back five years ago, the main mission was really just to deliver those services to our customer. Of course, security was all, already, um, you know, a big part of what we did in terms of protecting customer information, but given what's happening in the cybersecurity realm these days, it's become a full-time job just focusing on cybersecurity alone and information security. Uh, it's a major part of what we do. Yeah, so it, it's interesting. I've talked to some very large financial institutions and they're like, we're becoming software companies. Uh, and I was at the Amazon show, there's a you know a very large, well-known bank that gave away you know the, the Alexa dots and they're doing skill sets. How, what's the role of technology in, in your company? Uh, how, how does all of this digital transformation impact you? Really, it's, it's providing uh, a new level of service in the digital domain to customers that our traditional go-to-the-branch customers. We do have a large part of our, our customer base still wants to go into that branch. They have a personal relationship with that banker. But as you can imagine, uh, we have younger customers that they really just want that same level of service, but they want it provided uh, through mobile banking, online banking. And they expect, as I said, that same level of service. So really the challenge today is to provide that level of service through our mobile application. Um, and one of the nice things about um, the way technology has evolved is that traditional or, or in the past, only large uh, financial institutions could provide the types of services um, that you see, whereas today, because of the way technology has progressed, we've been able to provide that same uh, level of service, those same types of technologies. And again, the examples are mobile banking with mobile deposit, or being able to instant issue a debit card for our customers in any one of our branch locations. Yeah. Uh, Wayne, can you give us that. What's the dynamic between the business and the technology uh, in, in your organization? I uh, before I came to Harbor One Bank, I was in uh, the consulting world, uh, in the technology consulting world, and one of the approaches I always took, as many uh, people do in that world, is you need to have the business as stakeholders. They need to have ownership. Uh, whenever you're doing a technology project, you can't do technology for technology's sake. It has to serve a business goal, a business mission. And I brought that same um, approach to Harbor One. So at Harbor One, when we approach technology, it's all of the stakeholders at the table, there's a business purpose for what we do, and the business as well as the technologists are driving um, the implementation, whatever it may be. Uh, and again, a good example of that is when we started to introduce our um, paperless account opening process. We had people from our operations division, our retail division, as well as my technology division sitting in a room and really going through what that meant. The interesting thing about the process was it wasn't, it became a process where it wasn't just about online account opening and instant issuing a debit card. It was about, hey, now that we look at this technology, we actually can use this technology to do account maintenance. 
or we can take the paper processes we used to do and we can you know change those over to a uh, you know electronic process so it really is always a collaborative effort with the business and with my technology group yeah Wayne uh, what brings you to, to this event Always, well, first of all, uh, the Winslow Group has been a big uh, partner of Harbor One for many, many years. In fact, we are one of the first organizations uh, that rolled out the compelling sand technology with them. Uh, one of the things I always try to do along with my team is to get out and explore not only what's happening with technology that we use in terms of the roadmap, it's also about learning about new technologies and what we might be able to leverage as an organization to improve customer service. Um, the, uh, you know, right now it's about taking a hybrid approach between on-prem and hosted solutions. Um, that's something that we're really exploring uh, in order to become more nimble in order to be able to provide uh, the support the business needs at any given time without having to um, ramp up or do a tremendous expenditure in terms of on-premise technology. So really we're taking a look at how can we blend um, you know, our solutions with hosted solutions to provide a better level of service. Yeah, so, so Wayne, understand, public cloud sounds like isn't too much in the picture for you, but the service provider hosted model, what do you look Mostly for? Mostly private what are the challenges? cloud. Yeah. And again, the challenges are really not so much around being able to provide uh, the application or the support that we need, it truly is more around security, information security. As you know, here in Massachusetts, we have the Massachusetts data security laws. And any company that we deal with in terms of being a hosted provider, whether they're in, in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts or somewhere else in the country, they still need to assure us they comply with that same level of security when we deal with them. It's around making sure that they have the same protections, um, the same uh, level of business continuity uh, and, and uh, data recovery, things of that nature. So those are the things we have to look for when we look in a, for in a cloud provider. Yeah, uh, Wayne, I'm, I'm curious, as, as, as a CTO, how do things like really the digitization of money impact what you're doing? I think not only like things like blockchain, but you know, these days I know I'm, I'm using my phone to purchase things more. Um, you know, cash seems way less uh, in use, so what sure. does that impact? And again, you know, we are providing a lot of those technologies that allow you to do that. Our biggest challenge is that a lot of our competitors um, aren't banks. They're not regulated the same way we are so that they have more flexibility in terms of how they, not only how they can market, but how they provide these services. Um, so really it's more, the challenge is really in the competition. Um, and technologies, you know, allow that as well, so. All right, well, Wayne, really appreciate you sharing what's happening in your business and how technology is impacting that. Love to digging in with all the practitioners here at the user group where they're learning from their peers. This is the WTG Dell EMC user group, and you're watching theCUBE.